So I just got off a live stream, um, or recording this right after my live stream, which by the time you see this will be uh, yesterday. And I, I did a thing called Finish Friday, which I thought was really cool. I always preach about how you should finish your games. You should do all that stuff. I have a bunch of games on my hard drive that I haven't finished. So I figured I would go through my folder and uh, maybe every Friday or something we'll finish one of those projects. Because I made a deal with myself that uh, completed or deleted, that's my deal. Uh, everything in my projects folder gets completed or it gets deleted. And I'm working through that, so I figured I would work through it live. But that's not the topic of this today's video. Today's video is actually about what happened during that live stream because crazily enough, believe this or not, as a programmer, shit doesn't always go your way. Uh, there's going to be times when things happen, when shit happens, and you were going to be sure that, you know, this time is different, that this time you got this, you know this, you're going to just do it, and shit happens. But it's not always going to work out like you thought it would, right? Uh, on our live stream, my plan was to take this game that I had, uh, I made two years ago, like two fucking years ago, and uh, the idea was to take that game and finish it it was like 90 percent like the game was done kind of it was completed but i didn't like how the mechanics worked I, it didn't feel right it felt a little weird so i thought whatever we were going to do to that we we're going to finish it and finishing included tweaking the mechanics a little bit um changing some of the the artwork a little bit adding some, a little bit of sound um doing the menu system and then exporting exporting sounds like the easiest part right but that took almost more than half of the entire stream because Intel XDK shut down. So then I decided to do it the hard way with Android Studio, but I had all kinds of issues with installing that and getting that set up, and it was just ridiculously hard to figure out. I was trying to do Cordova, I tried to build, builds kept failing. So then we tried this other thing that I found, Adobe uh, phone, phone Gap, uh, Adobe.PhoneGap or something. And it was basically this cloud platform where you upload your stuff and it builds the APK for you and lets you download. We had all kinds of issues with that, with the keys. Um, someone in the chat, luckily they had a little application that they made to build keys, which was beautiful. It worked great. Uh, so that worked out, but it was so much work. And then eventually we ended up with cocoon.io, which was a great little alternative. But even that took a lot of tweaking just to actually build uh, the APK and like I've done all this before right but I use Intel XDK and they shut down so I had no way of building the projects and um, man that took so long it took so long and I did it live in front of a ton of people like that was the most boring shit ever I don't know why people watch that long because Jesus that was horrible man but shit happens like that I didn't expect it but it happens and that's not the first time something has just taken way longer than I thought it would. And it's definitely not the last. There are so many things in life, in game dev specifically, that just take way longer than you think they will. Sometimes coding that little piece that you need to code for those 30 minutes is gonna take you eight hours. Sometimes it's gonna take you two weeks because shit's gonna go wrong, you're gonna break something, then you gotta go back and fix it, you gotta do all this bunch of stuff, but that's okay, that's okay. And humans suck at estimating time, first of all. So let's just remove the aspect of uh, shit going wrong. Let's say everything goes right. Even if it goes right, just understand that you as a human suck at estimating time. I do too. Everybody does. Everybody that estimates time, they don't properly do it. Now, even if you were accurate, on top of that, on top of your accuracy, something is going to go wrong and it's going to derail you. And you can't predict what's gonna go wrong. You can't predict how long it's gonna take. I've built an app in Android Studio before. I've actually built an entire app from start to finish in Android. I remember it being a pain in the ass, but I figured it's been a couple years, I could remember all the little pieces that held me up last time and I could go through it and do it, but it took me like three hours to figure all that shit out. Like, it, it took a ridiculous amount of time. And ultimately we had to abandon that completely and go a different route. At the start of the night, I never thought I would have went to Cocoon.io. I never thought I would have been building my app with Cocoon, but we did. And you got to take the path sometimes that's not always easy. Sometimes you got to take, or you get sometimes you got to take the easier path on purpose. Uh, do do the path of least resistance, if you will. Sometimes you got to, despite what your original plan was, sometimes you have to 
be flexible enough to go around that. And shit is always going to happen. You just have to be prepared for it. And that's the thing. Like, a lot of people, they get frustrated. They get upset when stuff happens, when stuff doesn't go their way. Um, I know plenty of people in my life that will literally get upset. They'll, they'll get upset. They'll get angry when there is traffic. When they have to pull out and it's a busy street and they have to wait at a stoplight or something. They'll get angry and upset. I don't understand that. I watch them do it, but I don't understand it. Because I'm like... Dude, like, uh, something is happening to you, right? And you are choosing to react angry or negatively or, or bad to something that you have no control over. All that does is it, is it messes up your, you know, chemical balance in your body. It creates all kinds of stress for you. It creates, you know, it takes up mental brain power. Why? Over something you can't control. Uh, I've always been one of those really chill, calm-natured people, so I think I have an advantage in this area. Uh, but what a lot of people don't realize is that up here, it, it's going super fast. I'm, you know, my brain is just working all the time. That's what a, lot, a lot of times why I'm quiet on the outside is because I'm going crazy on the inside. And I've had to really work on my internal structure just because I need to learn how to go around obstacles, learn how to take different paths when I need to, learn how to deal with shit when it happens. And a lot of people, that, that's a life skill that you got to learn, especially in game development, man. Game development is unlike anything else in the fact that a lot of times you write stuff, it doesn't work, and then you keep fixing it until it does. Like, programming is problem solving it th you start with a problem and you solve it with code and so if you don't really understand the nature of problem solving if you don't if you can't handle uh how to deal with problems effectively and like not get upset not get angry not get emotional and just just work on stuff uh despite how fucking pain in the ass it is how like horrible it might seem how off schedule it takes you you might not have a good time and uh, I know a lot of people that have been derailed by things going wrong, by assets getting deleted, by um, unknown, you know, problems like like we encountered on the stream. And it's just something that you gotta you gotta do. You gotta move past. And I really want to convey to people that no matter the problem, whatever comes up, whatever's stopping you, whatever's preventing you from getting where you want to go. It's not as hard as you think it is. You just have to figure it out. So on that, I'm going to end this video. Um, if you have comments on what it takes to actually finish stuff and, and unexpected things popping up and how you deal with problems that come up at you from different ways without you expecting them, leave them below. Let me know your thoughts. If you've ever been through something like this, please leave it below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Once again, I'm Tim Ruswick, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.